Alright guys, got a bit of an update on the lithium ion phosphate battery. So, as you can see, the two lights are flashing on my inverter, which means it went off on under voltage. If you don't know, the Victrons have a uh, bit of a code that they let you know on. So, I'm going to do it a couple of times to try and get a perfect result, but I've been charging little batteries on the uh, charger here to see what kind of power we could get out of it. And now what we come to was we're down to 11.1 volts but we have 15 amp hours or 183 watt hours. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, somewhere around 200 watt hours is pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of warmth in it but that being said it's sitting on top of the inverter. I really hope to get another one these the same at some stage hopefully and then I'll double them up with their BMS etc uh, we had an amp peak 230 watt peak uh, the BMS handled no worries what amps was that Nineteen amp peak. So it's probably realistically a twenty amp BMS. But um yeah, we'll give it a charge back up, see what the charger reckons, and um then I'd want to mount this combo in the toolbox. Uh, so then you can with just with a AC plug adapter like a um oh like a basically make one of them um solar generators. Um, if you're interested in solar generators, Will Prowse pulls a ton of them about. He is by far the expert on what's inside them. It won't be a high energy density one, but it will be one. Um, put an Anderson plug on it for charging and discharging. Maybe a cigar lighter socket, all in a toolbox. Probably be a good little portable power pack. Um, yeah, and we get some life out of these cells. Don't really have anything else to do with them, and they should also provide like crazy, crazy amount of life cycles, I'd imagine, um, if they're not damaged as of yet. I don't think they are, but um, we'll go through and check all the voltages after it charges back up and see what it seems seem like. I've got a, I think it's a 15 volt, um, plug pack that's like a 3 amp one if I put that into it it should charge it sufficiently at the same time as uh, fairly quick what do we say 150 180 watt hours so it's not a not a bad battery um, for instance one of these is 216 watt hours they're also 220 Australian dollars and that was free so you know you gotta, gotta be smart about these things when you get them for now but like I said I'd do a bit of a cap test and let you know thanks for watching this is my uh, 18 amp hour lithium phosphate battery we'll charge him back up see what he holds and uh, Go from there. We'll make a project video of putting it in a toolbox next. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.